what is up Prince squad I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna be fixing I don't know if it was my fault or the customers fault but I did some jerseys for a flag football team and for some reason one jersey the letters peeled off the back of it the name not the number and I'm a, I can show it to you guys right here right here it had a name going across the back right here and this is the back side of it and this is the front side of it which was done in ink so one thing that kind of made me think that it wasn't my fault when the customer brought me this jersey it was filthy disgusting very nasty i started to just get a whole new jersey for it and replace it because i did not want to have to fool with this so I decided I was going to go ahead and wash it so I washed the jersey it came clean so the customer could not have been washing the jersey so the thing that I ended up doing was wa uh, go ahead and washing it and I'm going to go ahead and cut out the letters for the back and I'm going to replace it and then at the end I'm going to talk about how I dealt with the situation because it was kind of embarrassing you know for me to see that because I saw it after their scrimmage and i talked to the parent and you know but i'm gonna discuss that once i get done all right so i'm using this scrap piece of vinyl right here to print this out because it's just one name so i'm gonna go in here and make sure that everything is gonna fit so right here i can get the measurements from the machine by just clicking a button since i'm using a scrap piece of vinyl i'll do that and it'll let me know if it's gonna fit so when I hit OK now it's showing me that it's too it's actually too big to fit on there but if I slide it down like this it still won't fit so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find another sheet okay so I found another sheet this sheet should be wider than this other one it, it should work but it's not wider than the other one so sometimes I'm wrong so I'm just gonna use the red the whole the full roll and y'all have something to laugh at on this video all right got everything ready to go So I think it came out good. Let it cool slightly so that I can peel the backing off. And this is what it's looking like right here. It does not look like it's peeling anywhere else. I, I don't know what happened with the letters that was on here, but I'm gonna, uh, double check it double check it i'm gonna double press it just to be safe i i don't know all right i am back it is actually the next day because i finished though that jersey finished putting the name on the back of that jersey yesterday um so I decided I wanted to do a video that kind of explains what happened with that situation. And actually, uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to add this part to the video was because I actually had a person that, that had a question. That The question was, have you ever had a customer complain because the vinyl came off of the shirt? 
So before this situation with the jerseys and I've been printing t-shirts for eight plus years, the answer would have been no. But for some reason, upon printing this jersey, the the name started to peel off of it and I have no clue why. I, I mean, I don't know. I ha I've been using that the same Stars Econo print, which is for jerseys. You know, they say that it works well on jerseys. And even on their website, if you um, if you look up Stars Econo print, they show that it's printed on jerseys. So I don't know exactly what happened with that situation. But I do know that the shirt was filthy and I don't know if that had anything to do with it and maybe it wasn't washed. I, I don't really know. And I don't like to uh, talk about my customers or anything like that. And the jersey belonged to a kid. So, you know, kids, they sometimes get into stuff. They like jumping in puddles and different things like that with good clothes and shoes on. So, you know, I can't really just say it's the parents fault or whatever. But all I know is the day that they they got the jerseys and then they had a scrimmage so my son plays youth football also and I noticed that one that this little boy after their scrimmage was over I saw the little boy's name was peeling off so I talked directly to the mother and I was like hey I noticed your son's jersey his name is peeling off and I told her you can bring it to my shop and I so I told her what time I would be there and what time I opened and everything so she was like okay I'll bring it but instead of her go ahead and bringing it and and also I did contact the coach after that and actually I spoke to the coach before I actually left the the practice field that day and I talked to him and I said hey I noticed one of the kids uh, jerseys was peeling I said you know it's kind of embarrassing you know having to have a talk like this or whatever but basically when I saw it was a problem I right away talked to the parent then the next thing I did I went to the coach and I talked to him and I was like hey I noticed this kid's jersey's peeling I spoke to the mom and I told her to do this and he was like well he didn't notice anybody's peeling but he would uh, let me know so by the time I got home that night, you know, I was just like worried and I'm like, you know, this is bad for business and stuff like that. So I ended up texting the coach. Actually, I, I didn't text him. I called him right away and I was like, hey, coach, uh, you know, if it's an issue with the jersey, you know, I don't know what, why, you know, it would be peeling because I did the correct thing. You know, I, it, this is not a new material. I've used this material before, you know, and I was like, could you please notify each parent? and let them know that if it's anything wrong with the jerseys that I will take care of it and you know he did that and I didn't hear anything back that next day or the next couple of days and the next time I spoke with him he said that that was the only one I don't know why they're steady blowing their horn outside just just a bunch of extra stuff today for some reason but you know I took care of the situation I mean the parents she brought the jersey on a Friday which is my busiest day and I was actually printing orders for for funeral shirts because they had a funeral that that was this Saturday and I also I was trying to print the spirit shirts all doing this at the same time and then she brings this shirt so I finally finished the shirt and you know that I haven't actually given it back to them because they didn't have practice yesterday so I will as soon as I can I think they have practice today I'll probably be giving it back today so I just kind of want to let you guys know how I dealt with that situation and if you ever have something like that happen it can be an embarrassing situation but I feel like the professional thing and the best thing to do is as soon as you notice a problem you try to take care of it as quickly as you can and you let the people know you know that you are trying to work the situation out and do the right thing because there's so many different people that don't stand behind their work and don't have the pride in their work so you know people kinda get a, a the bad end of the stick or whatever or the bad end of the deal so if you do have an issue like that just make sure that you deal with it quickly and in the best way that you can and sometimes hey you can lose out but in my situation all I had to do was um, repress it on the back of that same jersey but yeah um, just in case you guys have any questions or anything and I don't know I guess I have a customer coming in so hopefully that was enough for you guys thank you for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and uh, be sure to check the description box below for links for any of these supplies and equipment that I use. And I also have Print Squad t-shirts still available. There will be links for that also. So I will see you guys in the next video.
Print Squad out.